What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi. We are back at Rider Performance with the B8 S4 because if you paid attention, you're a subscriber, you may have seen my last time at the track where we accomplished a 10 second run in this beast. The problem though is we were still experiencing breakup. We are now under the thought that it is my low pressure fuel pump that might be causing the lack of fuel pressure. This video is going to quickly go over what we do and I'm going to show you guys a before and after log of what we're seeing for fuel pressure. We didn't realize this right away as you guys can tell if you've watched my previous drag racing videos, I'm seeing that the high pressure fuel pump is being maxed out. but. I don't know why it slipped my mind. I wasn't looking to see the actual pressure of the low pressure side as well. We are not seeing the same amount of pressure that we used to see. I used to run about an E50 blend in this car. Everything was running wonderfully and I made more than enough fuel pressure to maintain that. My Lambda looked solid and the car was running really well. But over time, that fuel pressure has now dropped, which I'll share with you guys through the logs. And now we're thinking, let's take out this 100, I think I have about 140,000 kilometers on the car now. We'll take out the OEM pump, throw in a brand new one, and see if that helps maintain a higher fuel pressure on the low pressure side and relieve some of that stress off the high pressure side. In hopes that I no longer see any breakup and we can go even faster in the quarter mile. So I'll get to my before log, I'll share that with you guys and show you the fuel pressure I was seeing. We'll do the quick install and then I won't be able to get out there today. It's just starting to rain here so I won't be doing a log today but I'll get out as soon as I can after to do an after log to see if we have helped increase the fuel pressure on the low pressure side in my B8S4. Here's the log that was recorded during my 10 second run. The first thing we're gonna go over is the high pressure fuel pump duty cycle. As you guys can clearly see, it indicates a maxed out high pressure fuel pump running at 99.99% capacity at multiple spots along my quarter mile run. This is definitely not safe and not the way it is meant to be running. So one day I thought to myself, I don't think I've actually looked at the pressure developed by my low pressure fuel pump. The lowest you should see is 4,500. At the top of first, I'm seeing 4,100. At the top of second, I'm seeing 4,100. At the top of third, I am seeing 4,100. And at the top of fourth, I'm seeing 4,200 clearly not performing the way I need it to in order to provide the fuel pressure to my high pressure fuel pump to do its job properly. Let's get to this install and see if we can improve this fuel pressure. Wrapped up the fuel pump install, quick and painless here at Rider Performance, mainly to do with the fact that there are no rear seats in the car. We didn't have to compete with pulling out the benches or anything. Plus Kyle is experienced and knows what he's doing. We had it done in about 20 minutes or so. Got some fuel here and there, but 
you got to deal with that stuff. I came in with about a half a tank of fuel. Try to keep your fuel level as low as you can and you won't have to deal with as much of a mess. But now I got to get out and I got to log the car. But it is gross out. It's raining. I'm not going to be doing a quarter mile run on the back streets of Mexico in this thing until it dries out. So in a couple days time from now when it should be a bit warmer and a bit drier, I'll head out with the B8 and I'll get you some after logs now that I have the new low pressure fuel pump installed. A couple days have passed now, it's dried up out here with the brand new low pressure fuel pump. Just a few things I wanted to run over before I do this testing is during the middle of the summer when it was really hot, I was able to run an E50 blend successfully. The pressure was there, everything was running well. And as it got cooler and cooler and cooler and I was making more power, I actually have had to drop that ethanol content. So right now, I'm actually sitting at an E39 flashing over to E40 blend. So I'm really hoping now with a much lower ethanol content and this new pump, we have resolved this frigging problem and I no longer will have any breakup. Let's hope this works. I'm still seeing breakup, so what else could it be? Not too sure. <laughs> but for now, let's review that log. Here's a log of that run I just finished. Sadly, first gear still does not look good for that high pressure fuel pump. We're sitting at 99.99% duty cycle. Second gear looks so much better though, it's not even remotely close to being maxed out. Third gear looks just as healthy. During the gear change from third to fourth, we see one spike, which isn't the end of the world, but you're still hoping that you do not hit 99.99%. And then it looks really healthy throughout the rest of fourth. But now, how much did we improve on that low pressure fuel pump pressure? We wanted to see the lowest of 4,500. At the top of first, we're seeing 4,800. At the top of second, we are seeing 4,900. At the top of third, we're seeing 5,000. And at the top of fourth, even higher than that, at about 5,100. We've certainly fixed the low pressure fuel pump problem, but what else is wrong with the car? We still have to figure that out. Well, the low pressure fuel pump is certainly doing what it needs to do. My fuel pressure is certainly higher than it was, but we're still looking at some type of breakup, whether that's from coil packs that need to be replaced. It has 140,000 K on the car. So maybe it's time for that. That might help increase the spark. Maybe some new spark plugs, even though I just recently replaced those, but we've got to figure this out before we get back to the track. If I want to do even better than I did last time. The other thing that we're kind of running into now is octane when i was running that e45 to e50 blend i was seeing virtually no timing correction in any of my cylinders because the octane was that much higher now that i've dialed it back to an e39 e40 blend yes the fuel pressure is there yes i felt much less breakup but i'm now seeing ignition correction on multiple cylinders something that i was not seeing before so there's going to be that fine line, that middle ground where I'm getting the absolute most out of the fuel system that I can, but I'm not pulling a bunch of timing out of the cylinders because it's not getting the octane it requires. So got a bit more fine tuning, but for this video, that's a wrap. Just wanted to see how much of a difference and if we could fix the problem at hand by replacing that low pressure fuel pump. Yes, it certainly improved it, but it hasn't completely fixed the problem. So stay tuned to see if we can figure out what the hell is wrong with this car and how we can get it to run as perfectly as we can before the end of this 2021 drag racing season. Thank you all for watching and until next time, take care.